Sam Raimi confirms he's directing Doctor Strange 2 and Bruce Campbell wants a part in it, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. preps for its final season, and why are all the Spider-Man fans fighting? Let's talk about it in today's Daily Distraction. Hello, I'm Chris Killian, and Mustachio clearly won the poll yesterday, but it was close, so I compromised and made it more of a beard stash, and I will fight anyone who's got something to say. That's what I thought. Spider-Man director Sam Raimi has confirmed that he's officially directing Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, which no matter how many times I say it, my brain wants to say In the Mouth of Madness, which for the record is my second least favorite John Carpenter movie, though there are no bad John Carpenter movies. Earlier this year, it had been reported that Scott Derrickson left the directing chair due to creative differences, and it was rumored that Raimi was the frontrunner, but on a conference call yesterday, he confirmed he is indeed helming Doctor Strange 2. Of course, this means Bruce Campbell wants in, and I hope we see him make a cameo even though he quote tweeted the wrong website. All of the Sam Raimi talk seemingly got the internet into a tiff yesterday too, because soon afterwards, all of the Spider-Man movies and actors were trending, with hordes of fans getting into online fistfights trying to rank the Spider-Man movies, which is unnecessary, guys. Everyone knows Spider-Man 2 is the best. Is that even up for debate? Spider-Verse is a close second. Now, obviously, this is just my opinion, and there are no wrong opinions, but that doesn't mean me and my beard stash aren't down to fight about it. Shout out to whoever listed The Amazing Spider-Man 2 as their number one Spidey movie, because you are not nothing more than an agent of chaos. You know, I just do things. Speaking of agents, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is prepping for their final season and I'm out of the loop because I, I thought they were already done, but they're back May 27th, so they released this logo that's got fans hoping for a Captain America cameo. It might happen. Yeah. And monkeys might fly out of my butt. In case you missed it, more first look photos from Dune were released yesterday and I still have no clue what any of them mean. Finally, let's end hump day with this. Disney Plus got blasted for putting atrociously fake CGI hair over Daryl Hannah's butt from the 1984 movie Splash. Way to go, Disney. Now you've created a generation of kids who will be turned on by straw diapers. Good thing Disney Plus doesn't own Fast Times at Ridgemont High. <laughs> and that's today's show, but I'll be back tomorrow at 11.30 ET. But until then, lie to me and tell me why The Amazing Spider-Man 2 is your favorite Spidey movie in the comments. Follow me on the socials, keep them hands clean, and a big thanks for coming to comicbook.com for the best geek news.